Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI. 800-950-6264 and you can also text at 741741 and for additional resources you can reach out to the National Suicide Hotline at 988. You can either call or text that number. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So I hope everyone had a wonderful um, holiday. You enjoyed your family or your time alone, however you decided to spend your time. I hope you enjoyed it and didn't let anyone stress you out or take you to a place of darkness. So today I want to talk to you about um, how the narcissist like to play mind games. So first of all, before I get into that, I just want to tell you that um, with this new year that's coming up, you're going to continue to listen to your intuition. You're going to continue to protect your mental space and protect your physical space as well. So some of the things they like to do is, um, I, I wrote down a list. So they like to, you know, make small aggressions uh, pressure buttons and constantly pick at you for any little thing that you do and they like to play head games so with the small aggressions is um, story time again I'll just tell you uh, briefly uh, how it first started and I didn't notice it until it continued to happen so uh, with the ex-person my ex-husband when we first went out, uh, we went out on a breakfast date and it was just to um, get a meeting, you know, just to get to know the person a little bit better. So um, during the breakfast date, um, he asked me if I wanted some jelly on my toast. And I said no. And at that time I mentioned, because uh, now, like I said, we're getting to know one another. I just said, well, I'm the type of person. I said, the only thing I like jelly on is peanut butter. I said, um, I've tasted before. I said, but I just prefer it on my peanut butter. So, you know, no jelly or no jam on the toast. And so that was fine. So now we're starting to date. And we go out again for breakfast. And he asked me again. And, you know, I didn't think anything of it because it had been a few weeks or so and I said well no I said no I'll just have um, butter and then um, he was like okay and so as things progress I start to notice now we're in a, a full-blown relationship and it's probably been about six months and um, I noticed that he's every time we have breakfast he asked me if I wanted jelly on my toast and I started to feel a certain way because now, like I said, it's been six months into the relationship and you can't remember this. I know it may not be a big deal, but it's something that you should remember because now we're in a relationship and we're trying to um, start something. And then so I told him, I said, I said, oh, you're really forgetful. I said, I've told you many a times I don't like jelly on my toast and um, I just prefer butter. And so uh, he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And then so it happened again. Maybe this would have been a few years later. We're, in, we're living together, and he asked me again. Uh, he said, I'm making, you know, eggs and bacon and toast. And he said, do you want toast on your jelly on your toast? And I thought to myself, he's just playing. He, he can't be serious. So I, I didn't say anything. So we sit down to eat, and then he said, oh, here's the jelly. And at that point, I said, you know, I don't eat jelly on my toast. I said, um, only on my peanut butter. I said, it's funny. I said, you've been asking me the same question for the longest. I said, why do you do that? And he said, well, I'm just being thoughtful. And I said, well, if you're being thoughtful, you would take in consideration what I said to you when we first met. I said, so... I'm not, 
I don't want any jelly. And then he said, well, you're making a big deal out of nothing. I said, no, I'm not trying to. I said, but it's just kind of weird that you can't remember that little simple task. And so as years go on, it becomes a pattern to where anytime we have toast, uh, anytime we go out and there's we're having breakfast and there's toast and um, jelly or jam there, he's offering it to me. And um, I just started to ignore him, you know, because I'm thinking, I don't know what this is about. It's weird to me. Um, I don't know why you keep asking me, so I'm just going to ignore it. And then um, it happened again, and I'm thinking... Um, maybe it didn't have to, it, it stopped, he stopped asking me. So, uh, maybe five years into the marriage, we're having breakfast and no big deal. And out of the blue, he says, do you want, um, some jelly on your toast? And I said, you know, what is it with you and this jelly on the toast thing? And I said, I don't eat jelly on my toast. I said, We've been knowing each other now for seven years. At this point, we've been married for five. I said, you can't remember that? And he said, there you go, always starting something, always making a big deal out of nothing. And I'm thinking to myself, it's the little probing that you keep doing. You keep picking at me. You keep nitpicking. You keep doing this, and you know, you obviously know what you're doing. And then I said, so you're, un so you're, un so you're not confused. I said, I don't eat jelly on anything but peanut butter. I said, so that should be easy for you to remember. I said, it's not that I dislike the taste. I said, I just prefer my jelly on peanut butter. I said, it's just that simple. And then, so he just looks at me like I was the one that was crazy. So those are the little small aggressions that lead to, you know, is their way into picking on you, making you feel like you're losing your mind. And then so um, he would often, like I, I told a story once before how um, he could never admit to admitting, uh, forgetting my birthday. It always was celebrated. Well, like I say, he celebrated once a month ahead of time. And then he would have to ask my children what the birthday was. And, you know, I started thinking if, if there was something really wrong with him mentally because you can't remember simple things, you know. And it wasn't like forgetting an anniversary because, of course, he remembered that. But he couldn't remember my birthday and he couldn't remember or he chose to pretend that he didn't remember that I didn't like jelly on the toast. And I know you may be saying these are small things, but it's not small when a person constantly does this to you to mess with your head. That's what that's that's what I call mentally messing with your head. They're doing things to uh upset your flow to keep you off balance. So when you have somebody in your life that's doing that, you want to watch that. You know, it's not funny to play with someone. I don't believe in pranking people. Um, you know, as a family, we joke around with each other, but I'm not a type of person that's going to prank you and make you feel a certain way. I watch a lot of um, shows where people are pranking each other and the person that's being pranked is really feeling in, in their feeling, feeling like they're less than or feeling like uh, they're not capable of whatever the prank is. So um, I don't do those type of pranks. I don't like to play with people's heads and I don't like mine to be played with. And if you're in a relationship where you feel like you're constantly being uh, played with or toyed with, um, look. Do some research, you know, if you think that this is just the way this person is, try to have a conversation and let them know that this is not how you like to be played with. Now, unless you're just into head games, because to me, a prank or you doing things that's outlandish is nothing but a head game and it can mess with your sanity, you know, and then you have people who sometimes uh, move something uh just to make you feel like you're losing your mind. So you don't want to be in a relationship where you always feel like things are not stable. If you're in a relationship like this and you know this person is playing head games, uh, if you can't have a conversation with them, I would suggest you leave uh, because small head games can lead to something that's huge and big and then you're, uh, you're stuck in this relationship questioning whether or not something happened or didn't happen. 
you don't want anybody to play with your sanity because that's uh, private and it's personal. No one that loves you should ever come in and try to play with your head, play a number on you. If you know someone in a relationship like this, please share this video. If you're in something like this, watch it as many times as you need to. I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.